guys and welcome back to my channel for today's video I am going to be closing out our February 21st paycheck budget um, a lot of things going on with this paycheck so that's why there's a lot of typos and um, chicken scratch and stuff over here but I'll go over all of that with you guys um, so starting with our income um, our paycheck for this pay period, leftover money that we had from the previous paycheck that we carried over. And um, I also did transfer, um, I also did transfer from our savings to cover a direct TV payment that was made that we thought wasn't going to be withdrawn. Actually, we thought we were going to be getting a refund. So we'll see what's going on with that, or we're still trying to see what's going on with that. And then, um, this income right here is a combination of savings number two, our refund check, um, our tax refund, um, a bonus check that my husband received, and our sinking fund that we had in cash um, that we ended up using. We actually ended up using my husband's sinking fund amount. Um, I told them we'd still pay him back because we do have money in our savings number two account, but since we had cash on hand, um, and that's what we can only pay cash for um, one of our expenses to get my car maintained. So we ended up using his cash. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And it gave us a big total, I think, of $12,200. And um, as far as our regular bills go, everything is pretty much the same. Nothing unexpected here, like what happened with last pay period. Um, and that gives us a total amount of pretty much the same thing um, that I had budgeted in the beginning. With our leftover budget amount, um, or our leftover amount, our original budget was $590. We ended up spending $1,000. Um, that's because we did for categories like the transportation, um, we ended up uh, dipping into our savings and sinking fund for that to cover maintenance costs and for miscellaneous I totally forgot to put in our fee or to budget out for our tax prep fee um, so that's what that is um, and everything else for food can't believe we went or we went over um, I originally budgeted $215 and we just went crazy apparently with going out to eat that's what a lot of that is is eating out um, on top of groceries and stuff so I told my husband we need to calm down on that for this pay period because it's just out of control um, household we spent a little bit more because um, we ended up needing a couple things like tissues and medicine and stuff um, for me so um, what else? And the things that are under budget, um, so for fun and events, there's still a check that is pending because we did get, gift someone um, money and we wrote a check and that still hasn't been withdrawn. And um, the kids budget, I originally budgeted this amount. I was going to do a Scholastic book order, which I did. Um, and the order never went through. I went on the website and I guess... I don't know if I just didn't hit submit or whatnot, but it just it never went through. So, um, so hopefully my son's not too bummed out about that. Um, so yeah, we ended up spending way more than budgeted, but again, we did transfer over some money to cover um, like maintenance costs and stuff. And um, here on this side, um, when I do my budget recaps, like my in between. Um, pay periods. Um, I like to check to make sure that we still have funds. Just because I knew we were already over on certain categories, I wanted to make sure that we still had money to cover um, everything else. And here on February 29th, I kind of did a um, like a like a budget check, I guess, and um, I was left with eighty-five dollars that we would be able to spend from the 29th until our next paycheck, which is today, like March 6th. And um, we needed to make sure we stay within that $85 amount because that's how much cash we had. Not even including like, um, um, we knew we had extra money in our account because of the refund check and savings and all of that, but I still wanted to um, 
tried our best to really stick to what I had allowed us to use because um, just because we had the money in account in the account I didn't want to go overly crazy and stuff and buy things just because we have the money um, I wanted to make a plan for that money first and then um, we'll spend from there but I don't want to just be like hey we have an extra five hundred dollars um, on you got you got paid for um, we got a bonus check cool let's spend it no what we did do however with the extra money um, I call it a blessing because uh, we were able to put that extra money that we received from our tax refund and we paid off four cards so um, we paid off a total of forty five hundred dollars so four thousand five hundred twenty five dollars went into paying off debt and it paid off four cards and so happy about that um, and the one thing though I wish that before I paid these off was um, we actually got an, a phone call from our dentist letting us know about the cost of my son's oral procedure or uh, surgery procedure like the cost that we would need to be covering after um, after insurance and it's kind of hefty um, so this is the amount the total cost that we owe the dentist we had already paid this amount I think in January and so uh, we need to pay the rest is $3,200 um, split up into two payments because um, the receptionist said that we would need to cover at least half of it before his surgery um, at the end of the month and then the other half will pay after had I known this amount I actually didn't think it would be this much I don't know what I was thinking but um, I would have maybe held off on paying off the debt and just paid this in full um, but I guess it kind of works out because now my mentality is um, all that money that I had budgeted for for paying off debt is pretty much going towards our dentist uh, procedure so either way at least our debt is um, taken care of already and all those extra payments um, since we'll be deleting all these min minimum payments in our from our budget um, can just go towards this and we do have um, our second savings account um, to help cover as well and then extra money from our next paychecks will also help cover so we'll be able to pay this off and I'm so so glad that um, we don't even have to touch our emergency fund for this um, we have I know our emergency fund's not that big, but for me it is. We have $2,000 in our emergency fund right now that we promise not to touch unless it's really truly an emergency that we can't cover. And even with this little, or huge, I think, um, setback, we're still on track with paying off our debt or paying off our credit card debt by November. I still would like for it to be sooner, but we'll see. I wanna make sure we have enough in our savings number two to cover any other unexpected things um, that might go on because we still have to do service for one of our other cars. Um, not as high, I think, as what my car was, but still have to get maintenance done on that. And then we are planning my son's seventh birthday party, so I wanna make sure I have money for that as well because trying to cash flow everything and we're also still saving up for Hawaii as well or going to continue saving for Hawaii after we pay off this um, this dental bill so focus right now is making sure this all gets paid um, and I'll talk a little bit more about how much I'm going to be putting into um, our dental cost in the next budget but uh, moving on to our extra savings, I did set up auto pay. Is that the correct term? Auto pay for. I set I set up an auto. Oh my god! Why can't I talk? An um, I call it auto save because every twenty third of the month, fifty dollars is getting deducted from our checking account and being deposited into our savings account. Yeah, that's what that is. And um, all of this chicken scratch here was because I kept coming up, my numbers weren't matching. I had a variance of like $100, 150 or I just had big variances and there was something I was just missing from our expenses and I found it. So um, now we do balance. Our total amount that we should have left over after um, 
subtracting all of these bills um, is 4,303, which we actually have 4,304. So I'm okay with the 35 cent variance. Um, so that's with like what's in our checking account and then what we have in cash. So yeah, this amount is going to be what's going to be carried over onto our next budget. Um, so I'll make a separate video about setting up our budget. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much always for watching and I will talk to you in the next one. Have a great day.